Welcome to Resident Evil, I think about that. I'm trying to go back to a straight horror genre, because that's what it seems Well, teaser. Not the camera. Buddy. Yeah. Well, the models don't look any different from, well, anything they've done in the last ten years, or at least five years. Some features may not work as expected, blah blah blah. But it looks like they're using the same rigs, the same models, and the same capture technology to make this that they have with the last, I don't know, two, three Resident Evil games at least. I don't see why I need save data in a demo. Probably some carryover bullshit. Um, I'll turn subtitles on just because. But, mm, yeah. The environments had better be damned impressive, considering the modeling for the characters doesn't seem to have improved at all. And if they're going for a horror game, oh, get out of the house. Yeah. If they're going for a straight horror, it's all about atmosphere. You already looked like a zombie, buddy. play the piano. Scary. Um, for the record, I'm playing this lights off, volume up as high as it'll go on my headphones, and pretty much everything I can think of to potentially make this as scary as I possibly can. Atmosphere isn't getting to me yet though, and we're missing the fuse for the stairs. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Good use of sound. Can't see yourself in the vanity. Uh, honestly, this really just feels like PT right now. A very cheap knockoff of PT. And I love Resident Evil. I've played every game since the first... So I really, really, really want to enjoy this game. I really want to like it, but I do not have high hopes right now, given the direction they're going. Resident Evil has never been a straight horror game, and that's what this is shaping up to be. A dummy finger. Well, I guess I'll go finger a dummy. Do I have an inventory? Yes, I do. It looks like it's already been uh, fingering a thing or two. Click. Let's go find a fuse. Well, at least the dummy's got a nice butt. Oh, shit. Okay, yep. I'll give them that. I do not like it when things just turn and look at me.
I'm not particularly scared of mannequins, but, uh... Alright, Capcom, that's... What, three cliches now? Yeah. Gonna have to step it up, guys. Well, they're not quite like the, uh... Blood Angels. Oh, hello. Are you blocking my way out? Hmm. Green light. Alright. Green light. Red light. Alright, let me... Adjust this a little bit. It's way too freaking slow. I don't want any acceleration because that shit bugs me, but uh, it looks like they're at least still going to have uh, shooting zombies, so they're not getting rid of their Okay, there we go. Bye bye. Well, the lighting for the flashlight's fairly good if you're focused on something close up with it. Nice touch. You know, I know you got a stick up your butt. All right. I do like the sound design though. Hey, it's Chainsaw Man's wife from Resident Evil 4. Ah, uh, good to see ya. Ew. Uh, what have I said about keeping rotting bodies in the refrigerator? Can't tell if those are alive or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll come to life later on. Head in the microwave. Aw, uh, not the crow. He was my favorite character. And they put him in a microwave. The fuck was that? Okay, it appears to be daytime. Ah, it's still too slow. It appears to be daytime outside with very dirty windows. But the sound that's coming through is nighttime. You know, crickets and whatnot. Yeah, what's in the trash bag? Can I turn the oven on? No? Okay. Oops. Alright, one thing I will give them is the sound is quite well done. Uh, to the point at which it does make you wonder if you're making the sounds or not. Hmm. 
Okay. We got some loose boards here. Ah, lovely. I'm questioning how they managed to cut uh, an entire horse or cow in half. It looks like a horse with bolt cutters. I'm questioning that logic. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that got me. I wonder if I had looked up beforehand would I have seen it. Okay, Capcom. You limey bastards. Well done. You got me. Genuinely, that made me jump a little bit. All right. Okay, so what, I can't use it from that little side menu, or we'll, uh, I don't get that. That sounded like a door. So what's the point of having this quick access menu, short of, I guess, weapons, if I can't use a fucking tool in the process? I mean, it goes on there, snaps on like it's something you're supposed to be able to do. I guess they haven't worked out the kinks for that yet. Oh, come on. Go back to the TV. Because we have a videotape. Oh, look, the mannequins are gone. I wonder where they'll be. What the fuck? Um, no zombies allowed yet, sir. Um, I do not have a weapon with which to defend myself. I cannot even punch or kick. So, uh, you hold tight. And I'll be back later. Good. And that TV sure makes a hell of a lot of noise. Somebody was cranking it up. Alright. Let's see what happened. Derelict House, June 1st. Dolvey Haunted House Rehearsal. Clancy Jarvis Abandoned House. June 1st, 2017. 10.57 p.m. Boo. Boo. You find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey. I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't <laughs> ADR. Amarillo. Nice. New guy? Not Capcom, good. you guys are kind of assholes right, when you made that change. remark, though. I'm just going to throw that out there. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Okay. Like we always do. Just. Try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Good Nine work, guys. This is great. Another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Stop. 
This is great, guys. This is great footage. I'm getting right now. Are you are you loving this? Cause I'm loving this. You look beautiful. It's gorgeous. Are we rolling? Yeah. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. That's me pulling and pushing on. It's going to work so much better. If you're gonna kick it in, kick it in. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sound. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know. You know you're Can't pushing me. Beat. Not anchor. What's that? Uh, yeah, can you guys not sandwich me? That's really fucking Sorry, annoying. Sorry, Andre. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family. God, get out of the way. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. What? So, uh... Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not back. A lot of bad Will you stop fucking like pushing me? Bad seat, apparently. Good God. Ah, well, the meat's shit. not in here. I knew I should have worn my good shoes. You didn't even step in anything, you puss. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although... This make a great backdrop. Will you? Andre, oh my god. You Capcom? Andre? I'm really not liking the whole these Andre. guys can fucking get in the way thing. Andre. Clancy, you see where Andre went? And honestly, it's annoying me enough. I don't give a shit where Andre went. I hope he was where the first he? one to die. Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. Fuck you. Go get eaten. Pushy son of a bitch. But yeah, Capcom, I'd fix that if I were you. Having the other characters quite literally fucking push you around through their scripted movements is extremely fuck fucking annoying. Yeah, I heard it. Just open the damn door. Come on. Douchebag. Andre, where are you, man? <sighs> I really do want to like this game. Especially did since it did manage to give me that one jump scare at least. What the but. hell? You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Yeah, you first. Actually, you'll get in my way. You coming down, you douchebag? Puss. How many cliches are they going to throw in this? shall dash you against the stones. Okay. Who are you? 
because, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to die in here. go down to the pit where they all were and where there's a bunch of cockroaches and shit. Or not. Oh, the countdown jump spare has begun because they just gave me a key to the locked door. Hi. You are a big boy. And you vanished. Cool. Ah. The fuck? Oh, door. Uh, okay. So I guess this isn't the back door? I'm coming from. Any of this stuff pulsating yet? Nope. How about the crow? Nope. Oh yeah, what's in here? I bet it was a lovely stew at one point. Oh, God, fucking mannequin. Okay, they got me twice. They got me twice. <sighs> For the record, I consider a jump scare one of the ones where not only does it make you jump a little bit, but it sends that quick little chill down your spine. Yeah, I escaped. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, that was a little creepy. We gotta get the hell out of here. <sighs> Why did it take him a half hour to cut the second piece? <laughs> Silent Hill did it. Sorry, I'm going to keep doing that, but... Really? That was their big teaser? Well, it had two jump scares that got me. <sighs> the atmosphere wasn't good enough. Oh, and beginning hour, by the way, uh, very inaccurate. That took all of 20 minutes, including non-interactive sections. However, I am curious to know if you can actually find the fuse, which I'm pretty damn sure you can't and I know they did shit like that on purpose in the past so yeah um, two jump scares that actually got me 
both oddly enough involving inanimate objects but um, I guess not bad but not fantastic either so okay I guess I'm not going to get my hopes up about this game anytime soon simply because, well, let's just say the best thing Capcom's done in a long time was bring Monster Hunter over to the U.S. and not make us wait over a year and a half for the next time. Capcom's done. in a very long time and even then it's really just because they're gonna actually localize it here in a timely fashion well that's about it for this uh, so why did I need save data for that anyway I'm not going to get my hopes up on this game. Um, they used the same kind of things they've been doing in horror games for the last 10 years that need to be improved. The sound quality is pretty good, short of the fact that they heavily overused a couple things that made it take away from the scare factor, uh, specifically the heavy footsteps went off a little too frequently, the creek went off too frequently, rather than keeping me on my toes and on edge, it immediately became background noise. And the only reason I got jump scared by those little mannequin bits, specifically the baby doll and the mannequin tipping over, not so much because of the stinger sound effect that they use so much as I was expecting the zombie or something equivalent to be around the corner not an inanimate object tipping over so I guess in short less scare factor and more a slight shock because it wasn't what I was expecting to be around the corner but, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We will see. I really hope they pull through with this and make it something fantastic and something that is going to have great atmosphere, great everything, and make a true horror survival game out of Resident Evil once again because they haven't done an actual survival horror game in well over 10 years. So, yeah. Step in the right direction, though. Bringing the horror aspect back to it. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got a PS4, this is free on PlayStation Network. If you're a PS Plus, PlayStation Plus subscriber, so go ahead and grab it. Check it out for yourself. Just uh, don't expect anything grand. So, as always, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.